Bank of Khartoum is the oldest and the largest bank in Sudan. This is the only country which does 100% Islamic uh, banking in Africa. Banking penetration is less than 20%. And of course, there's a lot of uh, poverty. Being now number one bank in Sudan, we are very much innovative in Islamic products that give us the advantage against other competition. We build up projects, role model projects, to bring the customers into the banking system and the financial system and they will be real contributors in production and to the market. Now uh, we are going to one of our Moringa and uh, Jatrova farms. This farm has been financed under Salam product. This is uh, Mr. Qurashi. Salaam alaikum. Mr. Qurashi heads the Salha Cooperative 15 kilometers from Khartoum. Today they're harvesting eggplant. What are you going to do with the eggplant? Now they're growing moringa, the miracle plant that's used to make medicinal tea and jatropha seeds that will be processed for cosmetics and biofuel. In all, it's 30 acres. Ten families share the land, the work, and the profits. Some families they do the cleaning and the sorting of the seeds. And the main marketer will come and take the sacks of the crops and sell it in Khartoum Center. It took a $16,000 investment to dig 300 feet down and tap into Sudan's underground reservoir, the Nile River. Through the Salam product, we have financed the, the, the infrastructure of the water, we have financed the infrastructure of the electricity. So I got three goat from the finance. So this is his home. After the last harvesting, he got the TV. He bought this refrigerator. This is the butter he got from the goat. This is the washing machine. After the last harvesting, he got all these things. I want to see everything in the room and the room in the room. And all of them are connected to the room. We look at them as the partner based on profit sharing and based on the market prices. So we're taking the risk of the initial investment and then whatever profit the farmers they make, we have our profit sharing out of this. This is where we have Abu Halima project, where we use Mudaraba finance with 125 families. They run it as a cooperative, and the members get training in business and the technical skills needed to grow anything in Sudan's intense heat. The temperature reaches sometimes uh, 45 up to 50 degrees. The function of the greenhouses is to enhance the supply of the tomato and the cucumber and other winter crops. Like all the cooperative members here, Ishtia graduated in agriculture, but until now, she had nothing to farm. The main investment are the greenhouses, the transformers of the electricity, and the main water source also. In the scorching heat, an oasis has taken root. With the greenhouses, they're turning barren land into a remarkably fertile laboratory and testing new varieties of vegetable to introduce into the Sudanese market. In the winter season, we are going to cultivate the kind of crops that never been in Sudan before, such as the iceberg lettuce, such as the broccoli, such as the red and white cabbage. We want them to stand on their feet, take over, so we can focus on other projects. It's not that we are doing it for charity or a social uh, kind of aspect. No, we're doing it for real and we're taking the risk. First couple of years were quite difficult, but now, alhamdulillah, things are on track and uh, results are for everybody to see.
we are not doing conventional banking. Islamic banking is actual how much contribution can you do to the market rather than just being an intermediary and taking a cut of the profit or from the cycle itself. Islamic banking is spreading fast and this is the way forward.